I studied with Yasha Heifetz uh, in the 60s. Uh, I was only about 14 or 15 years old. Um, it was a master class environment. Uh, I was with him for about a year. Uh, it was incredible to be so close to that kind of a genius um, and just watch him. He wasn't necessarily the greatest communicator verbally, but uh, when he demonstrated for you, there was nothing like it. You couldn't believe your ears. So that was tremendous insp uh, inspiration for me. Um, so this is how I grew up. My father uh, was a principal second violin of Los Angeles Philharmonic since 1946, and he stayed with the orchestra for 52 years. Um, when I came back and graduated Juilliard in the 70s, I moved back to Los Angeles from New York. I joined the LA Philharmonic um, as concertmaster, and my father was still principal second, so we had still a wonderful relationship. And, uh, I was giving him Bowens for a change because he used to be my teacher as well. Um, it was quite, quite interesting, but growing up I also, growing up in Los Angeles, being that close to the film industry, and then finally breaking into the industry when I was with the Los Angeles Philharmonic, I worked for several composers including John Williams and Jerry Goldsmith and uh, quite a few others, and I did quite a few films in those days, such as Clo Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Uh, Jaws. Uh, later on, I worked on Aladdin. You might even see me on, on the previews for that, Beauty and the Beast. So I was concertmaster for that. There was another film that I did called Turning Point, which included uh, a lot of violin solos of Tchaikovsky and ballet music. And Baryshnikov was the star of that movie. Um, and that was, that was really exciting to be involved with that. I, I love making films, and uh, which is why I think this being drawn to uh, Kornbull's concerto, and it's how tightly he was uh, involved with the film industry, is very exciting to me to bring it to life.